Hi guys, my name is Easy Sunday, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to notify your users of a Bitcoin transaction that was transaction that was received on your platform into their wallet. So last video we talked about how you can create a Bitcoin wallet, different ways you can create a Bitcoin wallet, but we didn't cover the part where when you receive it, you want to notify the user. So uh, here we are going to use the block, blockchain.info WebSocket server because this is what like gives us that like real-time Bitcoin transactions information. Even though it doesn't give us specific ones, we are going to use the rest of it to to uh, augment it. So here, the first uh, event we're going to use in that WebSocket. Uh, as you can see, this is already like the normal web socket for the web browser that we know. So if you try this on Node.js, it might not work. You might need to install WS on Node.js. So, so for this, this is it. We have web socket uh, uh, on open events in the web socket uh, API. So we use that to listen to when our website or our application makes a connection makes a connection with the bit uh, the blockchain.info's socket server so we we do that so when it makes that connection we go ahead and send a message this message we are sending is like a push to the server to say the type of data we want is unconfirmed bitcoin transactions send that to us so we start listening you can also change this to uh, to, to confirm, you remove the unconfirm here, and you, it will send you only confirmed Bitcoin transactions. So, at some point, you might want to listen to just unconfirmed transactions or confirmed transactions. So, for now, I want unconfirmed transactions. So, that is it. There is also this one uh, error connecting to WebSocket. So, this is on error when there is an error. Uh, trying to connect to the blockchain info's web server, we, we get this error. So uh, that's it. The next is this, the last the on message event. This is a part where we everything went well, and then we are getting messages. So the messages will come in the uh, event dot data. So you just grab that, uh, pass the data, and then manipulated so because this data is going to be like a lot because this data is going to be like a lot we want to streamline it to get only the one we want which is the uh we, we want to go into the out message so the out here you see is only the output so there are input and output like we explained earlier so in this one we have only the out the output that's where if you receive a transaction that's where your address will be so we want to be sure that our address was in that transaction and then we go ahead and do something with it so uh, you can see there let me show you something here that is localhost 5000 sorry you go get back here localhost 5500 5, So you, you see that it's connected and then if we get to the, you can see, look at them coming up. So you can see the different outputs. Our address should be one of them. So for the sake of this length of this video, I won't go ahead sending any, I won't go on to send any, any, any transaction, but then just know that if your, your address is one of them then you're just going to do something that's just that's just the basics that and that's how it works so we want to load this only when the trans the only when the web page is loaded see we are connecting it to HTML just for this step for the sake of this step so that's about it thank you so much for watching if you have any problems with it you can comment I'll help you out so thank you so much I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you have any problem do let me know have a good day if you like this video like subscribe and invite your friends to join my channel thank you so much bye